Hey YouTube, my Be Prepared just got here in the mail today. I traded this with another sweet mama for a Toki Perky B set that I wasn't using. Um, and I've been wanting to give this bag a try for a really long time, but I just couldn't couldn't bring myself to uh, to pay the price. So this worked out perfectly. Um, this is the Jujube Be Prepared in Royal Envy. Um, and I absolutely adore this print. This bag is ginormous. Um, let me see. I'm not a big fan of doing it on the body shots, but I am 5'6 and about 180 pounds. And let's see if I can show you guys. What? That's a horrible picture. Hang on. Let's see if I can show you guys just how ginormous this bag actually is. So... That's it on my side, um, and it's really huge. Um, here is with the toe handle. It's almost too big to uh, comfortably wear like that, but I could see grabbing it real quick um, to throw it on my shoulder. But it's much bigger than I expected it to be, which is amazing because I was hoping it would fit everything. And so far, the only thing I haven't been able to fit in is a full can of formula, but my daughter's not using her tube right now, so I guess that really doesn't matter. Um, so as you saw, it has a messenger strap padded um, along with the two tote straps. Um, it's got this long pocket in the back. It comes with a changing pad that's fairly large, um, and it's memory foam. Um, my daughter's four and doesn't really fit on change pads and tends to be a uh, messy so I just um, keep disposable chucks in my bag so I have two of them stuffed back here and there's still tons of room I could probably fit three or four more and it snaps closed um, on each side are bottle pockets I have a thing of trash bags for diapers and a hand sanitizer on this side, I have an empty bottle. Uh, when we were on formula, I would carry pre-measured water. Um, I also have a bottle of water. I did pull out my formula stacker. Each of these containers fits um, four scoops of powdered formula, and that would fit quite nicely in there. Not with a bottle, though, but that would fit in there very easily. Um, the flaps are magnetic to close over it. Um, I had it tucked in here because the water bottle stood up a little too tall for it to close. Um, on this side, I have my passy pod with pacifier in it. Um, and then in this bottle pocket, I just have some random stuff. I have um, this receptacle that I use for draining um, my G tube. If our ferro bag isn't working or who knows. Um, a few little snacks for my son, and then a bottle of Pedialyte for um, flushing the tube um, after giving meds. Um, or you can use it for, you know, changing out a spare tube or who knows. Um, but I find water is one of those things when I need it, I don't have it on me, especially bottled water. Um, the front of the bag has this big pocket right here. This is the mommy pocket. Um, this is... Um, I don't carry this as a diaper bag, I carry this as my daughter's medical bag so I don't use it for mommy needs. Um, so in this has anything related to her central line. And it opens big and it has some gussets on the side so everything doesn't fall out. On the key fob I have a pair of plastic heme stats. Um, just kind of tossed in loosely so you can grab them easy. I have a whole bunch of saline flushes and some blue heparin flushes along with a stack of um, occlusive dressings and a dressing change kit. Um, in these what they call brag pockets they're used for pictures. On this side I have my kids uh, immunizations and on this side it's just a massive stack of alcohol swabs. Um, this zipper pocket up here just has um, tons of claves. Uh, this one right here has swab caps. Um, over here in the what would be the sunglasses um, case, I have two yellow heparins 
Um, we'll use them if our line gets sluggish before TPA, so we're just going to keep them handy. Um, there's these two mesh pockets down here. On this side, I have a Y connector and a chloroprep, two things, two different types of chloroprep. Um, and on this side, I have the rest of the stuff to piece together and that's like another dressing kit. So I have sterile gloves and a grip lock and some masks. Pull it off real quick. Do -do -do. I think that's everything. So yeah, we have a grip lock and a mask for me and a mask for her. Some adhesive remover wipes, some Cavalon wipes, some alcohol, hand gel, and two bio patches. Um, that, along with the sterile gloves and the chloroprep over here, um, would be enough for a second dressing change. So I carry enough stuff on me that I could do two dressing changes on the go, um, along with enough stuff to flush the line and pepper in it and keep it painted for a full day out, probably even more than that, but I like to be over prepared. Um, right behind it is this kind of just pocket. I have a puke bag in there. You can also use this pocket to store this tote handle if you want it out of the way to use the messenger strap. Um, and it has a nice sturdy snap to keep it together. The main compartment opens like a U. Um, so you can open just the top of it. So you could look into it like that. Or you can open it all the way down. And it does have gussets on the side to keep everything from falling out. Um, and you can view it like so. Um, I used a few of my um, sugar snap diaper filing systems, but I used a lot of uh, the interior organization. So right on top, first thing you see when you open the bag is inhalers. We've got Clovent, Combivent, and Albuterol with a spacer. Um, I don't carry her um, oxygen supplies in this bag. I carry them in her suction bag that's always on her stroller. Um, and if she's sick enough that she's needing oxygen, she's in her stroller. So um, no worries about not having that accessible. Um, the next sugar snap that I have is diapers. I have three size 6 diapers and a package of wipes and a tube of zinc oxide and nystatin. I could easily fit um, three or four more diapers in there. Um, behind that is a filing system with spare clothes. There's an outfit in here that would fit either of my children. Um, a pair of underwear for my 5 year old socks and a wet bag. Um, this I didn't show in my other videos because my bags that I've had aren't big enough. This usually stays in my car. I got this for free with Target with purchasing first aid stuff. And inside of it has everything you could ever need first aid wise. I'll show you real quick. I've got um, a pen light, I've got a thermometer, I've got um, a Benadryl allergy stick. Back here I've got a cold pack. I've got a tube of um, lidocaine jelly um, for catheterizing my daughter, um, some Tylenol and Advil individual packets, um, some mommy sanitary supplies back here. This middle pocket, I have some random wipes, uh, let's see, sting relief wipes, alcohol wipes, um, just kind of basic first aid stuff. Next to that is another little pocket. I have a pair of um, scissors and a whole bunch of band-aids. And then in this very bottom pocket is where I keep most of everything else. Um, there's a bottle of Tylenol in here. And then a dose of all of my daughter's meds, pre-drawn, all of her non-refrigerated stuff, mostly pain control and nausea control. So, and then I have ibuprofen for my son. Um, my daughter can't use NSAIDs. So we have ibuprofen for him. I have pre-dose Benadryl by weight. Um, Valium, let's see, more Benadryl, Zofran, Tylenol, Oxycodone, a bottle of Tylenol, and an empty 10 ml syringe. I also have a Neosporin to go, two rolls of tape, nail clippers, um, I don't use these to cut nails, but I use them for, they work in places where you can't find scissors. Uh, two C 
saline, some vials, some Emla cream, um, some Tylenol suppositories, and a um, liquid glycerin suppository. So all stuff that we have needed on the go in the past um, that I've either had to run to the store for or scramble to find. So that stuff all fits nicely in here. And now that I have a big enough bag, I can keep it in a medical bag instead of tucked separately in the car, which is wonderful. So there's that. Let's see. Also in the main compartment, let's see if you can see that. Right here I have her blood pressure cuff. Um, and then underneath that I actually have her portable nebulizer. Um, this one has battery packs and inside of here along with the nebulizer and tubing and a mask um, I have a bag that has um, a few of each of her nebulized medications in them. So that stays on. Usually also was in the car separately because it didn't fit but now it fits and I'm excited. Um, in the back we have a whole bunch of pockets right here. There's two mesh pockets on the side that go the length of the bag. And then there's these two right here that are half pockets. Um, let me see if I can get a better view of those. There we go. Um, so on this side, I keep a couple different kinds of wipes. We have Clorox wipes and wet ones, and boogie wipes. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I love boogie wipes for cleaning um, stomas. And um, the Clorox wipes are for if we have to prep for TPM on the go. Um, in here, I keep her oral care stuff. So we have a pack of pacifier wipes. I have some oral toothsets. I have a few suckers. Um, she's NPO, but suckers are okay most of the time. Um, I have a Z Vibe and a Chewy Tube. And then I also have some flavored tongue depressors. Oops, sorry, right there. Um, and those all fit nicely in there. Um, the front flap of the bag that opens has identical mesh pockets. This one's longer, this one's shorter. Um, and then there's also a pocket right behind it. So in the pocket, the longer pocket right here, I keep a spare button kit. And then I also keep, um, this has water in it. It's a slip tip syringe. This has lube in it for replacing the tube. Um, and this is a flush because the flushes, the lure locks fit just as well as the slip tips and the button ports. Um, so it's just kind of a backup. In the little sh smaller pocket, I have um, some uh, drop in bottle liners for her drain um, bottle that I keep on that side, and a two by two, a split one, split gas. And then in the longer one, I keep an extension for both her G port and her J port, um, a ferro bag, and then two 30 ml syringes, one set up for venting and one intact. I haven't had a chance to use this bag on the go yet. It literally, um, I just got home from doctor's appointments all morning and it was on my doorstep and I packed it up and made this video. So I may change some things. Um, if I didn't have this nebulizer or this blood pressure cuff, I could easily fit a whole can of formula in there with no issues. Um, I'm an overpacker, so that if I took some of this stuff out, I could probably fit a can of formula in here, but since we're not really feeding on the go, I'm uh, not too concerned about it at this point in time. So that is the um, Be Prepared, and I'm super excited that I have it now, and I hope as uh, I use it, I will keep on loving it.